you see your cousin and your cousin's fat as fuck. I don't know. I don't know if they are or not. Hopefully not. If they are, apologize. Maybe. <laughs> so they go out and you see your cousin. She's fat as fuck. He's fat as fuck, whoever. And you guys get back in the car and you guys, man, you see motherfucking Mary Jo? How fat she was? That's what we do. We go back and the hard conversation that you should be having with Mary Jo. Hey, Mary Jo, you fucking gained some weight, huh, sister? Fucking kind of big. That's what I do to myself. A lot of people that we see all day long, we see them. We don't have the hard conversation with them. We, we walk around. I'd rather you fucking hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. And that's how I feel about David Goggins. Motherfucker, I'd rather me hate. Oh, I hate you, David, man. I hate you, David. But I get better from it. I get better from it. And that's why when people see me and I know you, you're, you're in my little foxhole. If you're in my foxhole and you become a piece of shit, hey, come here, brother. Let me talk to you real quick, brother. <laughs> people don't like that shit, man. But I'm not going to allow you to go to a place that's going to be hard to get out of. It's going to be hard. If I allow you to gain five more pounds or allow you to take four more days off of school or allow you to keep on procrastinating in your fucking life and I see it and I tell Jennifer behind your back, I'm doing you no fucking justice. Right. Zero justice. So where this world is now, you can't say a motherfucking thing. I do. I still do and I always will. Don't like me. Don't like me. I'm good with that. That's exactly what's going on with like fat models. That's it. I'm and proud. People are like, you're beautiful no matter what. But that's not true. And the thing about it is, I have no problem if you want to be fat. I have no problem with anybody. If you want to be whatever the fuck you want to be. But make sure you fucking, if you're fat, motherfucker, go, go be fat. Go be real fucking fat. But let's be real. Nobody wants to be fat. Nobody does. That's why I said it, man. Nobody yeah, does. It's not true. They will pretend. I'm fine with it. But if I could give you a button that you could push and boink. Be skinny. All of a sudden, you'd have this incredible body. Yep. You'd take Everybody would push that button. But what happens is, man, we get in this world where it gets hard. Yeah. And so the harder it is, the more you start to push back. And the more you push back, and then it's not right for people to talk about. It's not right for, like, let's say you are fat. I was fat. That's why I talk about it. Go ahead and say something, motherfucker. I was fat, too. And it was hard as fuck every fucking day to get up. I know what it feels like when you roll your fat ass out of bed and all you want is some fucking damn cinnamon buns and shit and fucking chuck and chuck and milkshakes. I, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. But I can't want it more than you. And so many people... Just want it the easy way. It, I'm sorry, man. It's not. So what they start to do is they build this narrative of it's okay. When the narrative should be, you need to fucking work harder. You need to fucking discipline your mind better. We need to help people more than just saying it's okay. It's okay that you're not fucking willing to fucking help yourself out. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. Even though it's your life. If that's, if, if that's acceptable, that's unacceptable. And there's a lot of people in this world, me included, that if I accepted that, I wouldn't be anywhere. So, yeah, it's, a lot of people just fucking, they, they start creating a narrative about themselves that make it okay. The ultimate get-out-of-jail-free card. And now the world is set up to have so many get-out-of-jail-free cards. Everything is okay. And you can't say a motherfucking thing about it.